a machine with no pilot, a swarm with no mercy, a warplane that doesn't just fly but commands. China's Juchun SS UAV is unlike anything the skies have seen. Designed to deploy over 100 AI-driven drones, this flying behemoth may redefine air. Superiority forever. In this video, we'll explore how this breakthrough fits into China's larger military ambitions and what it means for global stability. Stay tuned. This is about far more than just one aircraft. Let's start with the basics. What exactly is the Juchi and SS UAV and why is it getting so much attention? Unveiled to the public at the Zhuhai Air Show in November 2024, the Juchi and SS UAV has been dubbed the world's first flying drone carrier. It's not just another UAV, it's a mobile platform for deploying coordinated drone attacks across vast distances. Its first live mission is reportedly scheduled for June 2025 and defense analysts across the world are watching every development closely. But this isn't just about flashy headlines. The Juchian SS UAV represents a profound shift in warfare strategy, one where manned aircraft step back and autonomous systems take center stage. So what makes the Judean stand out in a world already filled with combat drones? A lot actually. This beast of a UAV is massive with a wingspan of 25 meters and a maximum takeoff weight of 16 tons. It's comparable in size to a manned fighter jet. But unlike traditional aircraft, it doesn't need a pilot. This fully autonomous machine is powered by a jet engine, enabling it to cruise comfortably at altitudes of 15,000 meters. That's nearly 50,000 feet above sea level. To put that in perspective, it flies higher than most commercial aircraft and well above the effective range of many anti-aircraft systems. And it's not just high flying, it's built to last. The Judean SS UAV has a range of up to 7,000 kilometers or about 4,350 miles. That's the distance from Beijing to Delhi and back without needing to refuel. It can also stay airborne for 36 continuous hours, offering an extended window for surveillance, target acquisition, or launching drone swarms. Payload is another area where it breaks new ground. Capable of carrying six tons of equipment, it's outfitted with eight underwing hardpoints and a modular internal bay that allows it to switch between weapons, sensors, and drone configurations. This makes it remarkably adaptable. Whether it's engaging in deep strike missions or acting as an intelligence gathering platform. Now here's where things really get interesting. The Jutian SS UAV isn't just carrying a few drones. It's launching a full-fledged swarm of over 100 drones all enhanced with artificial intelligence and designed to work as a team. Imagine dozens of drones spreading out across a battlefield, each with its own mission, yet working together like a hive mind. Some scout for targets, others jam enemy communications, and a few are armed for precision strikes. The swarm communicates in real time, updating each other about threats, targets, and terrain. This isn't theoretical. AVIC has publicly confirmed that the Judean will deploy drones ranging from loitering munitions, think flying bombs that wait for the perfect moment to strike, to electronic warfare platforms designed to disable enemy radar. So why is this a big deal? Because traditional air defense systems, radar guided missiles, interceptor aircraft and jammers are built to take down one or two threats at a time. But when you're facing 100 plus autonomous drones coming at you from every angle, your systems get overwhelmed. The swarm saturates defenses, breaks through weak points and wreaks havoc, all while the Juchian stays far out of harm's way. These drones can also operate in GPS denied environments and are capable of executing missions even if they lose communication with their mothership thanks to pre-programmed AI protocols. The strategic implications of this technology go far beyond the hardware. China's investment in the Juchian SS UAV signals a clear military doctrine shift. Move from manned high-risk missions to autonomous force projection. This is part of a larger plan to leverage AI, machine learning, and drone swarming tactics to offset the technological advantages of Western air forces, particularly those of the United States. In contested regions like the South China Sea, Taiwan, Strait, 
and even along the Indian border, the Judean could be a powerful tool for extending surveillance, denying airspace to adversaries, or even launching preemptive drone strikes without risking Chinese pilots. What makes it more compelling is the modular design of the aircraft. The Juchian can be reconfigured for different mission profiles on short notice. Need to conduct a reconnaissance, mission deep in enemy territory, swap out munitions for sensors, planning a decapitation strike on enemy radars, load up kamikaze drones. This flexibility gives China options on every front, whether it's offensive operations or strategic deterrence. And because it's unmanned, the Juchian also minimizes human risk sidestepping many of the political and emotional complexities associated with deploying manned fighters in combat zones. Unsurprisingly, the world has taken notice and opinions are sharply divided. Defense analysts from Washington to Brussels have called the Jushian SSUAV a disruptive platform capable of shifting the balance of power in airspace disputes. The US military, which has long dominated the skies with stealth and precision, now faces a new kind of threat, volume-based saturation tactics powered by AI. Meanwhile, skeptics have raised legitimate concerns. The Judeon is large and lacks stealth features, making it a relatively easy target for advanced surface-to-air missile systems, if they can reach it. Others question the maturity and reliability of the drone swarm's AI capabilities. What? happens if communications fail? Could the drones go rogue or misidentify targets? Additionally, there are concerns about autonomous decision-making and warfare. If a drone in the swarm makes a kill decision based solely on its onboard programming, who's accountable? Still, despite these ethical and operational concerns, no one can deny that the Jushian represents a bold leap into the future, one that could soon become the new norm rather than the exception. Let's take a closer look at what makes the swarm deployment capability of the Judean SSUAV such a game changer. The real magic here is in the artificial intelligence that powers the drone swarm. These aren't just drones flying in a group. They function as a coordinated network, almost like a hive mind. Each drone in the swarm is fitted with AI algorithms capable of real-time decision-making. That means if one drone identifies a high value on target, it can instantly share that data with the rest of the swarm, recalibrating their tactics on the fly. If one drone gets taken out, others automatically adjust to cover the gap. No central command needed. This decentralized command structure makes the swarm incredibly resilient and difficult to disrupt. But what does that look like in practice? Imagine a scenario where Juchian releases over 100 kamikaze drones over a contested zone. They scatter, map their terrain, and identify enemy radars, missile launchers, and troop positions. Then, without a single human directing the operation, they prioritize and strike, all while evading return fire. It's a terrifyingly efficient system. The AI can even switch between offensive and defensive modes. In some tests, drones have been observed protecting larger aircraft by forming a digital shield around them, intercepting incoming missiles, or attacking enemy drones before they get too close. This is not just a new kind of airstrike, it's a new kind of warfare, and it does not require boots on the ground or pilots in the sky. Naturally, this raises the question, how does the Jutian stack up against Western equivalents? The U.S. has been a pioneer on drone warfare with systems like the MQ-9 Reaper and the XQ-58 Valkyrie. However, those systems are mostly single-unit drones. The concept of using a mothership drone to deploy swarms in mid-air is still in its experimental phase in the West. DARPA, the U.S. Defense Advanced Research Projects Agency, has been working on the Gremlins program, which involves deploying reusable drone swarms from manned aircraft. But unlike the Jutian, which is fully unmanned, most of these systems still rely on a manned mothership and are only beginning to test autonomous swarming. In Europe, NATO members are also investing in AI-enabled drones, but their efforts are more fragmented and less centralized than China's state-driven defense industry. That gives China an edge in integrating new technologies quickly and at scale. The Juchian SSUAV, by contrast, is a single, autonomous unit that can loiter in contested zones, release swarms, 
and disappear, making it harder to track and destroy. It's the military equivalent of a ghost ship armed with robotic stingers. Challenges and limitations of the Jutian SSUAV. But for all its groundbreaking features, the Jutian SSUAV is not without limitations, and critics are right to raise concerns. First, there's the issue of visibility. Despite its altitude advantage, the Jutian lacks stealth capabilities. At 25 meters in wingspan and 16 tons in weight, it's not exactly subtle. Advanced radar systems in countries like the US, Japan, or South Korea could likely detect and engage it if they're prepared. Second, AI-driven swarms introduce new ethical and operational risks. What happens if the swarm misidentifies a civilian convoy as a military threat? What safeguards are in place to prevent accidental escalation during a standoff? While China's military insists that all autonomous systems follow strict engagement protocols, critics argue that the lack of transparency makes it impossible to verify. Also, electronic warfare presents a serious threat. Adversaries could potentially jam communications between drones or even hijack them using cyber tools. Although China's developers claim the Jushian has electronic counter-countermeasures, the evolving nature of cyber threats means nothing is ever foolproof. Finally, there's the question of cost and scalability. Producing hundreds of intelligent drones and a mothership to carry them doesn't come cheap. While China may be willing to invest heavily, that's not the case for every military. So what does this mean for the Asia Pacific region and the rest of the world? In areas like the South China Sea and Taiwan Strait, the Judean SS UAV could shift strategic calculations. Its ability to loiter at high altitude and unleash precision strikes without risking pilots makes it ideal for high tension zones. In a conflict scenario, it could disrupt communications, disable enemy radar, or even strike naval targets, all without a single manned aircraft entering contested airspace. This complicates matters for regional powers like Taiwan, Japan, and even the United States. Defending against hundreds of small, fast, and intelligent drones is a very different challenge from shooting down a fighter jet. It requires a mix of radar upgrades, laser defense systems, and electronic warfare tools. And let's not forget China isn't just building one Judean. The long-term plan includes creating multiple drone carriers, possibly supported by sea-based platforms and satellite coordination. That's a blueprint for sustained aerial dominance without traditional air superiority platforms. The future of autonomous warfare. What the Judean SS UAV signals is not just a leap in hardware, but a leap in military doctrine. Traditionally, air power has been centered around crude jets and complex logistical support. But with drone carriers like the Jutian, we're entering a phase where machines handle the bulk of offensive operations, making decisions, executing strikes, and coordinating movements faster than human operators ever could. Some experts argue this might trigger a new arms race, not just for drones, but for autonomous systems. Think smart submarines, AI battle tanks, and fully automated infantry units. China's success with the Jutian could push others to pursue similar systems, leading to a global rethink of military strategy. The battlefield of tomorrow might be less about human soldiers and more about who has the smartest, fastest, and most resilient AI network in the sky. The Jutian SS UAV is more than a technological marvel. It's a bold statement of China's military ambitions and technological prowess. With its unmatched ability to deploy AI-powered drone swarms from extreme altitudes, it's not just reshaping aerial combat, it's redefining the future of global warfare. As with any major leap in technology, it brings both promise and peril. The potential to save lives by reducing reliance on human pilots is countered by the risk of autonomous systems making lethal decisions without oversight. Still, one thing is undeniable, the skies are changing, and with the Jushian leading the stuff, charge, the rules of air power are being rewritten in real time. We'll be watching closely as the Jushian SS UAV heads into its first real world missions and keeping you updated every step of the way. If you found this deep dive informative, do us a favor, hit that like button, share this video with someone interested in military technology, and subscribe for more content exploring the future of warfare.